we've got the semaphore laying down, its IR is pointing directly at the ceiling. So there should be no reflection bounce back or anything like that off of the table. You can see it's illuminated red. Pensy's on gone over to green since we last watched. Let's trigger him to go red. Again, no movement at all in the semaphore. So what I was doing before, I can at least describe that verbally for you. The semaphore would go to the yellow aspect and just immediately zip right back to red. So one of my concerns was perhaps it was the vibration caused by the motor of the semaphore arm. So I was securing it down. I've got some heavy weights here. I was going to show you if I could actually get that to happen. But now it's malfunctioning in a different way, and it's not even malfunctioning in its normal way. So sorry to disappoint you here. I wanted to show you different malfunctions, but oh, there we go. There we've reached yellow. And back to red. As you saw, I did nothing. I didn't put my hand over it. I'm just standing behind the camera the whole time. This is the kind of behavior I was hoping to get to show you, where it just randomly changes. Once I had it going for about two hours, I sat on top of my television, just watched some TV, let it go. In that amount of time, it went green once. Immediately upon reaching green, it went right back to red. So ever since then, I've had maybe a dozen of these occurrences of going from red to yellow and then right back to red again. I don't know for sure that it's because I'm pointing it up that I'm able to make this magic happen. Maybe it's just been coincidence the few times that I was doing it. There's the Pensy going yellow. Oh, Pensy's now green. He's ready for the Pensy signal. So I'm just going to let this video run here. If I edit, assume that that means that there was no more activity. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep letting it run. Maybe the semaphore will change yellow and we'll capture that on camera here. That would be awesome. So I'll sign off here, but hopefully your video will continue to play. If it does, assume that the signal will change again. I'm not going to edit this because I don't want anybody to think, oh, well, he just lengthened this or he shortened that or anything like that. So there will be nothing done to any time codes or anything like that. This is all straight up exactly how it behaves. Again, it has never worked from the beginning. The original signal never did anything but red. This one occasionally changes, but clearly not the way you would desire, and nothing like this Pensy signal that you see working in the background. So if I do get a working signal, I'll be more than happy to share information about that. Look for that info in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions out there in the internet land, I would love to hear them. happened. I'm just going for fun. Make the Pensy signal go because it's so fun to watch it go. At least there's something in the video for you guys to watch now. Yellow! And it danced right back to red. Since it's done that twice now, let me stand this back up. See if we can get it to do it while it's vertical. Just so there's no Excuse me, question regarding where I'm pointing it as compared to that Pensy signal behind. So let me just make sure we can see this very well here on camera. Adjusting the camera here a little bit. Okay, I'm going to trigger the Pensy just for giggles. This is terribly exciting for you guys at home. My apologies, but sometimes these things take time. Trigger the 
Pensy again. As you can see, the Pensy works every time. It doesn't jump around. Even when it's in the yellow, how about for giggles for this time? On the yellow aspect, I'll trigger. So this is what should happen. There should be something to trigger to go back to red, like a train went through the yellow signal. That's the type of behavior we're looking for. So you can see this entire time, the semaphore has remained unchanged. Pensy's gone to yellow, and pretty soon the Pensy will go back to green. Pensy's worked fine. Just to restate the point, this is an old Duracell. I have had this signal outside. I ran an entire afternoon. I've actually kept this signal with battery in it in my shed. So it has not been in a perfect environment. It's been outside, been out of the weather, but it's gone through heat and cool cycles like you'd expect for August here in Pennsylvania. So I'm really hoping to get the semaphore to do some more tricks for you, but it's so unpredictable and I can't, I can't make it happen. If I could, it might help a little bit more with the troubleshooting, but fortunately this is all we can get out of the signal. So again, I'm looking for suggestions from you guys on the internet, or from Jim, the owner of the company, or anybody else who perhaps owns one of these. Maybe you've had a similar situation. What kind of batteries have you used? What voltages were they at? What was your pot set like? Pot's the little turning knob inside. You have to use a screwdriver to access if you're unfamiliar with that. Just looking for any information anybody else might have out there. I've purchased one of these signals in hopes of having it work, and clearly this ain't it. So. One last trigger. Now once this goes back to green, I'll shut it off and get this uploaded to YouTube and see what all the people on the internet say. Take care. Picking up again with the video, I moved the semaphore over to the left side just to show you that any IR that it sends out is not being picked up by the Pensy signal in case you were thinking perhaps that was a cause. Also, just in case anybody at home was thinking maybe I was placing the two signals next to each other, let me show you the side on view. So you can see they're actually in front of each other. had them to left and right so that it showed up better on camera but clearly that's doing nothing for the semaphore maybe you can catch some of the yellow light if you look at it from the side but that's not true if you look at it from straight on you can see it's in the red aspect so again they are not directly next to each other. Semaphore is up front. Oh, and if you're wondering, yeah, I have the side off of the semaphore, but when I originally got the Pensy signal, I did that the exact same way too, and it made absolutely no impact. So, oh well.